I guess you're thinking, what's he doing now? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna show you. Getting ready to make a bowl. And uh, you see the little spikes? Kind of look like a coronavirus, don't they? But anyway, I'm gonna make a, see what I can do about making a bowl out of these. Well, I think I'll be able to film a little bit of this process. I'm laying a handful of these at a time over here on the table. And then, careful by careful selection, I'm culling out any ones with a lot of black in them, whatever, these don't look good. And uh, that might be all right. But see, that's a nice brown color. It's not turned dark yet. So I'm placing these all around, you see, in here, in a bowl-like manner. And we'll get them placed all around the edge now, I think this is going to work. I haven't tried it before, like a lot of other things, but I take the, pick the debris, try to pick anything out of them, blow it off. Now, that is a nice, nice brown color. It has a, these all have a stem on them. These actually are, these are seeds that would, uh, that's how the trees get around. There's a stem, you can barely see it there. Pull them out, kind of easy. And I'm going around and making these into a circle. This cup, this will go here, and this I'm hoping will go down between them. Maybe it won't. I may have to get a piece of wood that goes in there. but. I lay these carefully around the edge and uh, see what I can come up with. So I found out this dish wouldn't fit over that. Started to stack up some wood in there. I decided uh, I'd go over to the lathe real quick and this was just roughed out very quick. Scrap piece of pine wood that I had and uh, it fits just perfect down in there. Okay, so here I have equal it. amounts of, of uh, mica powder. And I have decided that I'm going to pour a mixture representing earth. There's the earth colors. Water. Two different shades of blue. And fire. Some red, a little bit of orange. So that is going to be the three basic colors that goes in there. I promise not to make this video too long, but I was hoping that it will be of interest to most that I show how I mix my colors.
Now we'll spend about 12 hours in the pressure pot and get ready to turn. Ice plate on and ready to go. A few pockets showed up that had to be filled with some thick CA. Now just doing some polishing before turning around. I applied three coats of sign juice to the outside before cutting out the inside. Finally, I get to the inside details of the bowl. Now it's time for more of that enjoyable sanding. A little more waxing before the final buffing. The moment I've been waiting for, the final buffing. Well, I guess that's about it for the sweet gum ball bowl. Let's take a closer look. You can see the pattern of the sweet gum balls. The resin, I mixed, a, as you know, the earth, uh, earth bar and water colors, uh, and uh, the inside. Take a look at that. And it's uh, quite nice. It uh, measures seven inches uh, wide in diameter, four inches tall. And uh, remember, it all started with the sweet gumball. 
I guess I'll see you in the next video.